Uh, it's a little counterintuitive looking at here, but the, uh, the black colour always determines where the colour to the bottom uh, map goes. So this one here is going to be the, the sand. And just to make that a bit, a bit easier to remember, we could make that sort of sand coloured. And we'll make this a sort of grass coloured. Like that. Just as a visual clue to what's happening here. Um, so this is our beach hill mix. So this bit here will be the beach. Um, and I'm going to use um, a colour correction layer. I always put that in straight away. Um, I, I use textures from our texture library at our firm, but um, uh, the other guys in my studio may use the same textures, but they have different ways of rendering stuff. And um, so I quite often have to tweak them. We, we we try and we we try and have a standard way of, of uh, rendering, but there's always you know, people think certain things look best. Um, so I normally just darken down the textures that are in our library. And I'm going to use a bitmap. I'm just going to go to our project folder, and I'm going to choose Sand 01 JPEG. And we just have a quick look at that. It's uh, overall it it's it's, it's got a, a constant shading, constant tone and colour, um, which is um, useful. Uh, you, you, it, won't, it won't stand out as um, tiling badly. But actually when you go in, it, it's got enough detail to be interesting. And that's using uh, the real world scale. We can have a look at that in the viewport just by clicking this. So it's tiling that every metre, which is obviously no good. So we'll We'll just bump that up in size, um, 40, 50, 60 meters, something like that. That'll work out pretty good. Uh, one thing, one thing you might find is if you get close to this, uh, you might it might start to look a bit fuzzy. So if I was worried about that, I'd, uh, I'd stick another mix on here, and I would mix it 50/50 with exactly the same map, um, but set it a smaller size, and perhaps put a bit of rotation on here. And it would just it would just hide that, but I'm um, not going to go into that detail today. So we've done here. We'll call this um, sand, which is what it is. Uh, and I put uh, I just darkened it down here. Uh, I'll go back and tweak that uh, when we've done a done our first re render and see what's happening there. Um, so the next thing to do is the um, the color here, which will be our our sort of sandy grass mix. So in this map here, I'm going to click it and I'm going to put in another mix map. And this mix map is mixing between sand and grass. Um, sand and grass. OK. So we'll put in the map that we're going to use to mix between these again. Uh, first, and uh, I'm not going to use a I'm not going to use a, um, a procedural map here. I'm going to use a bitmap that I've got that I use for this sort of thing. Um, bitmap, and it's the sandy grass mix map. And we'll have a look at that. And uh, this is I think this was originally uh, a part of the desert in Kuwait somewhere, but um, I like the way it I just like the way it looked, and it it seems to work pretty good for, for this kind of thing. It's, it's just natural enough and um, I've made it so that it tiles um, sort of, you know, it, 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 it tiles seamlessly. You'll notice it tiling but um, you won't know where the seams are. Uh, so we'll stick that in. Uh, and again we need to change the size of that because if we look at that map it's tiling it every meter using this um, real world scale here. So, um, uh, I don't know, I'm going to just put 90, I'm just going to mix it over the whole, you know, that, that's the size of the plane we're using here, so I'll just spread that map over the whole um, entire area. So the white parts here are going to be, um, there's going to be a bit of sand showing through, and where it's, where it's dark, that will just be mainly grass. And um, so again, um, if we go back up to here, the, the black area is going to be the grass, um, so let's do that. We'll put a, a sort of grass colour in there again to remind us, and uh, a kind of a sandy beach colour in there again, just to make it a bit more intuitive. 
So the grass map, uh, I'm going to stick in straight away. You guessed it. I'm going to put in a color correction. I'm, I'm making sure I'm not putting color corrections on top of color corrections here, but um, this one here is going to control the grass. And uh, I've got um, two maps that I want to mix to make this um, make this grass. I'm going to use um, a, a slightly smaller tiling map, and I'm going to mix that in with a, a much larger overall map again. So in the map slot here, I'm going to choose another mix. And in the top slot, I'm going to use the, um, the more detailed grass map. Let's have a look at that. It's a bitmap, and um, we'll navigate here, and it is this one here, Grass Diffuse. We'll just have a look at that. It's, it's actually moss, and it's from the CG Textures site, and then I took that, um, put that into, did some work on it in Photoshop to make sure it was um, tiled seamlessly. So there's just enough variation in there to make it interesting. Um, but but nothing that, that nothing no single point stands out. Well, perhaps these points here. If I was being fussy, I might go back and change those. But um, it's the first time I've noticed that. Uh, and again, we want to. It's just tiling this. So if we have a look at it, it's tiling it at every meter, which is no good. Um, uh, we can we can see try a few different sizes. Maybe that's looking. Looks quite nice. Maybe a bit higher. Um, see what it looks like at 60. This is the kind of thing that we we really we ought to be rendering uh, to see what this looks like. Um, I'll go I'll go somewhere in the middle there and see what that looks like. And when we when it comes to render time, if that's not looking quite right, I'll um, I'll go back in there and and tweak that. So that's that's going to give us some detail, um, and I'm not going to put a map in here. I'm just going to use an amount there, and you can see if I zero it, we just get the grass map. But I'm just going to, as I as I raise this mix amount, I'm starting to bring in this white color here. What I want to do is uh, just mix it with um, a much larger map, which will provide some um, color changes to that over the, the whole area of the terrain. So I'm going to choose bitmap and I'm going to use um, this bitmap here, grass overall 01. I'm going to have a look at that and I'm not sure where this came from. Um, it was from the internet a long time ago and I've, I've used it for years and years but it's brilliant. Let's have a look at that applied to the terrain, and again, tiling at every meter. That's not really any good to us. I want I want to spread that across the entire terrain, so we'll do that. And uh, I don't want to make. I'm not sure if it will um, give us a great representation in the viewport here, but I don't want. I don't want forty percent. I know from experience that about about twenty. That twenty percent there is going to work pretty nicely. Okay, so we'll just move up there. Um, that's the color correction uh, for the grass, and I want to darken that down a bit. I'm going to change that to 0 0.6, and I, I'm pretty sure that's going to give me the, the sort of look I want. So if we go back up one level, it'll take us to the, the mix between the sand and the grass here. And uh, we've got an empty slot where we want the sand to go in here. So I'll just bring up my map navigator here and I'm going to pick the sand map here. I'm going to choose the color correction level of it. I'm going to right click on here and copy and then I'm going to go back to the sandy grass mix and I'm going to paste that in as an instance. So if I alter the sand as it appears on the beach it will alter the sand that's being mixed in with the grass up here. Um, okay, I hope I've done all that right. I think I have. Um, we'll do a test render just to make sure. 
Um, we'll go to this viewport and have a look. And hit render. Well, that's wrong, isn't it? I've got the mix between the sand and the terrain wrong there, so that's pretty easy to pretty easy to fix. I'm just going to invert the map that I'm using there. That's actually the gradient ramp there. Um, so let's go and find that. It was this um, gradient ramp here, map 15, and um, I could alter these around here so that this would be white, white, black, black or I could be um, lazy and just invert it here in the output and that will swap it around for me. Right, there we go. Uh, that took um, just under two minutes to render. And um, if we have a look in, we zoom in on this image, it's not super high resolution, but it, it now I've swapped that round it's all working as I want it to I've got the beach and it transitions from there up into the, um, the, the hill and it's mixing a bit of sand in with the grass here and uh, I think that's going to look pretty good when it's covered with trees and vegetation and the rest of it now I've had some um, I've, I've felt whilst that was rendering I felt a bit guilty about doing it the lazy way uh, so we'll go in and we'll, we'll correct that gradient ramp and do it properly and I'm also going to add a little bit more blue to the grass, and um, I think it's a bit too yellow. So I'm going to turn off that invert, and I'm going to do this uh, the proper way. I'm going to double click on this on this um, little tag here, change it to white, uh, and then uh, this one here is black. So I'm going to copy it and paste it under there and paste it under there and I'm going to copy this white one and paste it under there so that's what I should have done really okay now the other thing we were going to do we were just going to go in and um, change the grass color correction here so we'll go to that level and um, I want to I want to add a little more blue into it um, so if I just turn off the show end result here, if I pull this hue shift a little towards the blue, that would be the, this way, and just get it a bit, a bit more emerald. Um, we'll, we'll try that, see what that's doing. Um, so I'll hit render again. <coughs> 